Good afternoon everyone. So nandito na naman tayo sa ating panibagong linggo ng pag-uusapan sa ating uh, mathematics class. So our topic for today class is about measure time, 12 hour and 24 hour. So before we start, uh, sa mga hindi pa nakakapag-subscribe, kindly uh, click the subscribe button and the like button as well. So in this model, uh, you are expected to learn measure time using a 12 hour and 24 hour clock and also calculate time in a different world or time zones okay so let's have a short um, activity here so here's the problem so the time in the philippines is six hours ahead of egypt the flight manila to egypt takes 11 hours if an airplane leaves manila philippines by 6 a.m at what time in Egypt will the plane arrive? So express your answer in 12 hour and 24 clock format. So in this scenario class, kailangan natin alamin muna kung ano yung difference ng time ng Philippines at ng Egypt. So sabi dito, time in the Philippines is 6 hours ahead of Egypt. So ibig sabihin, mas advance tayo ng oras. So kailangan muna natin itong malaman ano ba yung oras sa Egypt ngayon. Yan. So here's the problem. So the solution is, to know what time in Egypt will the plane arrive, first, we will subtract 6 hours from 6 o'clock. 6 o'clock kasi yung alis natin sa Pilipinas. Since the time in the Philippines is 6 hours ahead of Egypt, then add 11 hours to the difference. Okay? So if subtract natin yung 6 o'clock minus 6 hours is equals to... 0, 0. Or, yan yung 24-hour clock format niya. Or, pwede rin gawin natin 12 in the morning or 12 a.m. Kapag nakuha na natin yan, nakuha na natin yung oras ng alis natin sa Egypt time, i-add naman natin yung ilang oras ba yung biyahe going to Egypt. Based on the problem, it's 11 hours. So, after getting this uh, time, we will now add 11 hours. So the answer is 11 o'clock. Yan yung oras ng dating natin sa Egypt from Philippines if aalis tayo ng 6 o'clock ng umaga. So in 12 hour format, it's gonna be 11 a.m. Ayan. And then in the 24 hour clock format, it's gonna be 11 and then yung symbol natin na H. Yan. So ito yung definition niya. The 12-hour clock is a time convention in which the 24 hours of the day are divided into two periods. Pag gagamit tayo ng 12-hour clock, so gagamit tayo ng um, nahati sa dalawa, yung hapon saka yung umaga. So sa umaga, we call it anti-meridian or the AM means this time is after 12 midnight and before 12 noon. So 12.01 a.m. to 11.59 a.m. Yan yung anti-meridian natin. And then we have what we call the post-meridian. Which means this time this is after the 12 noon and before the 12 midnight. So 12.01 p.m. to 11.59 p.m. And then we have another one. The 24-hour clock, oftentimes called as military clock. Soldiers are the ones who mostly use it. It does not require AM or PM. Yan naman yung tuloy-tuloy. To be written after the time as it starts at 00.00, .00 which is 12 midnight, then back to, ito yung oras niya, after 23.59 or 11.59 PM, Instead, each or hours is placed at the end to indicate the use of the 24 hour clock format. For example, so 12 hour clock, we have 12 midnight, so 24 hours is 0 hours. And then we have uh, this one, 12.01 a.m. to 11.59 a.m. Sa kanila naman is 01 hours to 11.59 hours. At sa atin naman, 12 noon. This equals to 11.59 p.m. to 11.59 p.m. Sa 24 hour format is 12 to 23.59 hours. Let's have an activity. So, fill in the table by converting from the 12 hour clock to 24 hour clock, the vice versa. So, ito yung, yung mga 12 hour gagawin natin 24 hours at yung mga 24 hour clock gagawin naman natin siyang 12 hours. So, go back sa number 1. So, 7.24 AM, yan. So, kapag siya ay uh, 1 to 12 pa lang, so napakadali lang niya class. Uh, Tapos AM lang siya. So, gagayahin lang natin siya. Gawin lang siyang 7, 24 hours. Yan. Kagayin naman ito, lampas na siya sa 15. 
yung 24 hour niya. So, ibig sabihin is magma-minus tayo naman siya ng 12. So, 15 minus 12 will become 3. This is going to be, and then copy yung, sa yung kanyang minute, so 3 and 35 p.m. Kaya naman ito, a.m. na naman siya. So, you will just copy this one. Yeah, pero dito sa kabila, ito naman siya, um, 23 siya, so minus 12 lang tayo, so 11 p.m. siya. And then, sagot na pin number 6, so 9 hours siya. So, ibig sabihin, hindi pa siya lumampas ng 12, so 24 hours, so nagawala na dito, is copy lang natin siya. And then, change the, yan, huwag na siyang a.m. lang. And then last, we have number 8, 22, 34 hours, so 22 Bawasan natin ng 12, mag 10, and then 34, and then the PM sign. Kasi lampas siya ng 12 sa kamila. Okay? And then last, this one, 11.45 PM. Dahil PM na siya, mag a tayo dito ngayon ng 12 hours. So 11 plus 12, mag 23. So 23.45 hours. Yun lang siya, minus sa ka plus lang. Okay? So let's, uh, things to remember class. Uh, what are the steps in converting 12-hour time to 24-hour time format? To convert 12 hours time to 24-hour time format, we follow these steps below. If the time is below 12 a.m., 12 o'clock a.m., and 12.59 a.m., we subtract 12. Ayan. If the time is between 1 p.m. to 11.59 p.m., we add 12 hours to input the time. Minus and subtract. Ano lang to? Addition and subtraction lang tayo ng 12. And then, how can you calculate the time in the different world time zones in relation to the Philippines? So, different times at different places in the world are caused by the movement of the Earth. 15 degrees long longitude every hour. Since there are 24 hours in a day, there are 24 standard time zones. 24 hours times 15 degrees Celsius is 363 uh, degrees. So, Time zones are counted from the prime meridian or zero longitude and each time zone is counted as 15 degree interval and extends seven to and a half to the left and to the right of the central meridian, okay? So I think that's all for today class. If you learn from this video, kindly click like, share, and subscribe and see you in my next video.